Hello everyone, welcome to this 3D modeling tutorial in SketchUp, where we will be creating a braid vase from scratch. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future tutorials. For this tutorial, we will be using the SketchUp extension so be sure to have it installed if you want to create this 3D model. We will be using Sub-D, Sandbox, and Tools on Surface and a bit of joint push-pull at the end. If you want to follow this tutorial, the link for the plans and images used are in the description. The 3D model of the vase is also available for download so be sure to watch till the end. First, we'll create the base using Circle Tool. If the circle has 24 sides, you can adjust the value in the VCB. Here, we'll do a 6 sides for the base. Delete the face. Then, right-click the hexagon then click Explode Curve to make it editable. Adjust the lines using Move and Scale tools to fit the sketch plan. Select the hexagon and make it a group. Next step is duplicate the group matching the top of the vase on the sketch elevation. Choose the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on one side of the hexagon. Then, with Line Tool, follow along the 2D sketch of the vase to subdivide the rectangular plane. For the next steps, use Rotate and Move tools to wrap the plane to the hexagonal base. Continue with the line tool to create the remaining geometry of the sides of the vase. Use the selection tool, move and scale tools to modify the geometry to match the vase design. You can also use vertex and quad tools in this process. Both are available in Extension Warehouse website so you might want to check it out.
Continue the process of adjusting the geometry. To duplicate, we have the option to do it manually or do it in a quicker way using the mirror tool. This tool is also available in the extension warehouse.
Use the Offset tool from Tools on Surface Extension to offset the edges. This tool creates edges or lines parallel from the selected edges even on a non-coplanar surface. For the next step, we'll be using Sub-D extension to smoothen the geometry. The general rule when using this plugin is, the lesser poly count or triangulation of the model, the smoother and cleaner the generated output geometry. You can toggle the subdivision tool on and off during modeling, adjusting the geometry until you get your desired output. Remove unnecessary faces by merging the vertices or deleting geometry faces when needed.
Lastly, we'll give a thickness to the vase model. To do this, we'll be using one of the most powerful extensions in SketchUp, the Fredo 6 Joint Push Pull Plugin. To use this tool, simply select the geometry then choose the Joint Push Pull tool to thicken the geometry. Thank you for following and watching till the end of this video. We hope you learned something from this tutorial.